the Box to Burn gym in Westford, Massachusetts, kids as young as seven years old put on gloves and hop in the ring. But as hard as they might throw punches, they're not taking them. Legendary fighter Mickey Ward, who drops in on the family gym for workouts, has joined the Concussion Legacy Foundation to better educate the public on why hits to the head, whether in boxing, football, or soccer, should be completely off the table for children under the age of 14. I was seven years old when I had my first fight, so I was taking punches since I was seven. Ward is famous for his ability to withstand blows in the ring, as portrayed in the 2010 film The Fighter. It's a, it's a rough man's game. It's like a, a brutal game. You want to stay strong. You want to show like you're not hurt. You're a big macho guy. No. But that's how you think when you're younger. But he feels the effects of those hits on a daily basis, and he doesn't want kids following the same path. Well, you know, I'm diagnosed with the signs of CTE. It's terrible. It's like it makes you nauseous almost. It's like just a thump in the back of my head to side. And you just feel like drained all day, you know. And, uh... At this gym, parents put trust in trainers to know when to push their small athletes and when to protect them. You just got to look at the risks and there's all the other activities and you know, let the research come out. But at this point, I mean, yes, I'm concerned, but it wouldn't prevent me from letting them try things. We didn't take this lightly. Me and my husband really researched the place. We've been to a couple of places and they're more like just, you know, it's the same routine. But here they really pay attention. For Ward, he says what's done is done. He'll donate his brain to be studied for further CTE research. But does the champ blame sports for the pain he's in today? Boxing is the, one of the greatest sports there is. But maybe just hold off until you're a certain age before you start getting hit in the head. He'd just like to see fighters and football players of the future in better health. Reporting from Westford, Massachusetts, Megan Adelini, The Boston Herald.